Oh, hey guys, welcome to another video. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just picking the cereals from my socks because they're so sticky. Today, we're gonna shoot another product video. We're gonna shoot just sugary cereals. As you can see, it got pretty wild here with all the cereals lying around. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to shoot an epic video, but first, let's gonna watch it. So what do you guys think? Pretty cool video, eh? It had stop motion in it, it got explosions, it got cereals rolling around. So let's break down how I did it. Let's begin with the first shot with the cereal rolling around the frame. So the next shot is gonna be where the cereal jumps through the frame. And what I did is I just put the cereal on a stick here and just rotated it through the frame and took a picture every time it moved and then just they made a stop motion animation and removed the stick in Photoshop and post. So for this shot with the exploding box, I got actually three shots. So the idea for this shot came from Daniel Schiffer and Austin Paul. They both did similar techniques on their videos, um, but I wanted to try something different. I wanted to actually have the box explode. So I came up with this technique and I think it looks great. So how I pulled this off was I stitched together three shots. One was a clean plate of the backdrop. The second shot is where the box actually tears apart. So I cut up the box and what I did is I stitched it together a little bit with, with the tape. And then I taped these little thin cords towards the edges of the box and I placed it in the middle of the frame and then I had two people pulling on each side and it kind of like tore the box apart. And the third shot um, I needed was the cereal flying into the air. So I put it on this really reflector and I just threw it up in the air. And then in post-production, it all has to be edited together. So this, the clean background, the cereal and the box has to be combined together. But I decided to do that in another video because it's quite complicated because you have to do some masking and some keying and it just made, would make that video too long. So if you want to watch the post-production side of the video, hit the link below, up below. Oh, I think it's here. I never know how, where it is. But uh, you can check it out at the end of the video or click the link up here. I think the most important thing is uh, to try new things and it took me a couple of tries to figure out how the box is going to tear apart and how I'm gonna throw the cereal up, like how I'm gonna pull this off. But I think this is the most fun part because when it comes all together in the end and you get a great result, it's gonna be so amazing and so worth it. So yeah, so how I lit this was, I had uh, one of my nan light tubes lighting the backdrop and then I had one other light uh, hanging from the curtain here and just key lighting the product. And I just wanted to make sure that there's no shadows cast it on the backdrop. So I had to back up the backdrop quite a bit. And then just the A7 III here on the sticks. So this is the setup for the overhead shot of the bowl. Um, it's kind of tricky, I got my special lens here. It's the Lawa 24 millimeter macro lens. Uh, this is such a unique lens. It's very thin and you can get such cool shots with it. And because the barrel is so thin, you can drop the cereal very close to it and it gives this cool effect when the, the cereal dropping from top over the bowl because it can get so close to the barrel. It's a unique lens you can, can just get really nice shots with. Uh, but the downside is it's f14 so you gotta need a lot of light to light it so i got two nan light tubes here at full blast and it's still quite not enough light so i open up the windows here to give some more punch in but yeah it's such a nice lens and you can get really nice shots with it 
And just what I'm doing is I'm just dropping the cereals from over top and I just fall close to the barrel down into the bowl and gets this really nice shot. For the camera, I'm using the a7 III and I got this monitor here to check the focus and everything. For the pouring shot, I just grab the camera and I'll just, and I just put the lens right into the bowl here. And because of that close focus, focusing distance, it really looks cool. And again, you need a lot of light, but I'm just opening up this to get some more light in. And I'm shooting everything in uh, slow-mo. So I'm shooting in 120 frames per second uh, to really give it a nice cool effect. Because when you pour the milk in without slow motion, it's too fast. And when you pour it in slow motion, it gives this really creamy look. I'm telling you the worst thing about this is I dropped all these cereal on the floor and they they stick to my socks and it's so annoying because they're so sugary and they can't get off. So this is the most annoying part about this commercial. So for the ending shot, I just positioned the bowl of cereals with the box and the milk on the blue backdrop and just had the camera on a tripod here and poured some, dropped some cereals from above. And then in post, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So it makes a nice ending shot where the product is presented really well. I crumbled up some paper and put it in the bowl to make the cereal stand out a little more and come out of the bowl. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm still having the cereal stick to my socks, it's so annoying. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which cereals you like best and make sure you subscribe because I have a cool video coming up. I'm shooting an Apple commercial here in my living room, so stay tuned. And if you want to see the edited breakdown of this video, click the video right here. Thanks so much for watching and I see you guys in the next one.